Hello and welcome back to the video number 2 of this UiPath RPA project. In this RPA project we have total 12 videos. If you want to become a UiPath RPA developer and you want to start from scratch and uh, cover everything in UiPath, this, this is the right playlist for you. You can find the link of this playlist in the description. Please hit the subscribe button for all the videos and if you like the content of this video, please hit the like button. So in this video what we are going to do is that how can we use UI path for each UI element activities and then go on different elements. So same thing we have seen in the last video also but it will be on different screen in this video. We will see how can we use UI path uh, while loop and how can we go to multiple iterations in UI path while loop. We will also see that how can we modify our selectors, how, how can we uh, use variables in the selector, how can we modify selectors. Let's go inside the video and uh, start developing this uh, automation workflow. So you can have a look here. We are right now in the use browser activity. And here we are using for each element. Inside for each element we have tested for attributes and then we took Two values out from here then we are clicking on that brand this brand each click will happen and then one workflow that we are going to create as a next step from now will be called here at this place and then we will come back to the previous page all right so i will just close this browser Let's run and check. Now it should click on Toyota number 3. So it is going on the page, brand page and coming back. So that much is done. Now what we will do is that on the car list page for each brand we have to extract information. So for that we will create a new different workflow all right so let's see and start working on that i will stop this now from here you can stop add a new ui path workflow and give the name to this ui path workflow extract details so now here you will learn that how you will understand that when so on this page you will understand how can how you can modify your selectors and you can use variables in the selector so selector is the main so selectors selector understanding is very important in ui path automation or any ui based automation right so i will just go here and first we need a browser and application activity because it will work on that and then we have to indicate so before if you remember we have indicated this screen now this time we have to indicate this screen all right so all the cars are available we will go to up to five cars Let's see how to do it one by one. And this time, so first let's indicate this application on this screen. We have to work. So if you see now, the first thing is we have to check selector. So you see the Maruti car price in India, and it is a validated selector. But the next when we come to ne come to this page next time. These are not Maruti cars, right? So the selector will not work. If you see the select selector is not finding because the title of the page is changed now. Alright. So now how can we make it work? How can we make a common selector which is working on both? So to make the common selector, we mostly use wildcard. So how do we use wildcard? But before using wildcard, you have to inspect like which is the 
changing part of the selector and which is the stable part of the selector. So if you will look at it, Maruti Suzuki Crayer price in India. This much is looking like it will be a changing part, but car price in India must be common. Okay, and same for this. So this two zero two four or Nexa and Nexa model can change, but review and all these things might be same. But how to identify that? So let's open this in UI Explorer. and indicate any element on this window so if you see the selector which is available here maruti car price and here tata car price models tata models 2024 like that so what we should do is better if you want to see it properly go on a notepad paste it take the other one go on a notepad and paste it if you see what all part is changing so this part is same car price in india car so here you see little very little difference car price in india cars price in india right so if you will just remove this put a star which means anything before this part and if you just we have to keep the pattern so just remove this part keep the space before and after put a star here which means this part also will be changing so if we copy this now and if we paste here and validate is coming the reason is cars price is india is fine but when you go here on maruti let's check here if it is working or not where it is it's not working big still so you see that this part is still common car price in india car price in india review and everything this part is also we can put wild card so it will follow the pattern but not change the but not though no value is required anything is coming here will be fine only difference that you see right now is cars and car so if i change it how can i change i don't know it will be cars or it will be cars so here also we can use wild card now check it is working on maruti page let's check this on hyundai page okay i will go i will validate it again yes it is working on hyundai page because we have removed the changed part or replaced the changed part using wild card so this is how you can change the selector you can modify ui path selectors or you can find a proper selector in ui path for changing items all right so we will use this as a window selector because this is the window selector i will go and i will paste this here it will work this is only window selector so it will be applicable to all elements uh, now on second thing is browser properties this or this is also a part of it so we have to change this also right so selector will work but this selector will be fine but this application will not work but before that we have to create template for at least one car and then we will change this so if you remember that in the last ui path sequence we are taking this url with brand right so i will change the name here right so this url which we are taking here is part of that that url so we will move it 
so we will pass this information from this workflow to that workflow and this is how you connect multiple classes in oops and that concept is applied here by passing the arguments right so you might have heard like so i hope you are aware of inheritance how to pass values from one function or one class to another class so here we will create arguments and we will pass this url in the argument that argument will be used here but first let's create a static flow and change the name for each car right all right so now after changing the name we will go we will take a get text activity you can do recording also i am not doing recording because i will not be able to explain get text and you just come here click on this element and first thing after every element you should see like will this be a stable selector or not all right so what we will do is we can see like this might not be the stable selector this can be changed anytime all right and we can inspect other selector also window selector so window selector it is coming maruti so nexa model 2024 which means if we will go in the next item it will again create problem because this is nexa next one is something different right this selector will also this selector is also not looking very promising what we can do is that we can just ignore this go here and we can try to take the selector directly from ui explorer so this is how ui explorer helps a lot so you understand the layout of the ui explorer if you see here body after that div inside that again div is opening inside that again there is one more div this is the complete path that how it is coming to that how the page is coming to that particular element right and it will give you all the required elements here so if you will take a a name i will just come this side this can change anytime if you see this class it is a auto generated class right it might change so what should we do now we have to take this h3 plus we can take this because maruti will be in all the items and then what we can check is idx is the index so if you index if i take one let me see where it goes yes element is there right if i take this element and i indicate it is going on the right place but the problem is that this part will always change correct even if we but the problem is that this part also will change now how to deal with it so what we will do is like we will when we in the previous workflow we have taken the brand name so we will use the first letter of that brand name here for this selector hope you understood so when we are in the toyota brand it will change with toyota when we are in mercedes it will change with mercedes but what we have been doing and when we are coming from this page our previous workflow that time we are taking the brand name so that we are taking the brand name so that we can use this brand name here so maruti when it will come maruti will use first letter of maruti when it will come tata we will use first letter Toyota will be used first letter like this and then it should work fine so I will just change it to 2 then I will validate and then highlight so it is going on the second car so this part also we have to use in a variable that it should change up to some time right so now gently modified this part if i will use this also inside the selector it will override the modified part you remember we used a uh, asterisk here and asterisk here as wildcard 
so that part will be overridden so we will be using only this much this selector will already be available the first line okay now first thing is that i i don't want to go to each car i want to go to five cars so what i will do i will take let me release this highlight first thing i will take a variable control k is the shortcut in ui path to create variable car counter and then i will assign that to one because we are starting from one change the type to integer from here i and then come here right now then i will use while activity while activity i will give a condition if counter is less than 5 do something that is get text get text and first we will take the title text so let's rename this text title okay then i will indicate this on you can indicate on any of the car that doesn't matter because you will be changing selectors manually okay confirm even if you don't want to take selectors by clicking that is also fine because you know the selector here right so you have to change the method also you should not be using fuzzy selector now delete and you have to use stick selector remove this fuzzy selectors from here but you have to pass the stick selector so if you will open this the window details are already coming that you have to again overwrite you will just see properties We'll change check the window selector once again we'll just paste it all right and then we will so now this these details we when we will extract we have to send somewhere else also if you want to create a variable right now you can create variable or if you know that you have to send this somewhere i mean to some of the workflows then you can directly create arguments so for now i will be creating variables later when we will do integration we will change these variables into arguments so i will change create a variable control k car title car brand maybe the car title before we create for others like uh, kilometer and mileage price for everything we what we will do is we will test this one right and after we have done this then we have to increase the counter also so i will take assign activity assign car counter is equals to car counter plus one okay and when we take it we just have to if you want to see it you have to read it also so let's see in log message this time log message Our title. Let's try to run our workflow. Only this file. So I will run this.
this file i will not be running the entire solution i don't want to run in the debug mode from main i just want to run this file for now let's test it Oh, it has taken the output, but it is going for giving for only one car. Do you know the reason? Because we are not increasing our index. Right. This is window selector and this is our state selector. You want to use variable here what you have to do is you have to select this part you have to do right click choose a variable and what variable we have to use counter because this should be similar to the counter click ok save now this counter will change every time right let me show you once again because this is the important part so now h3 will remain same this part we will modify later when we will plan to go for different brands here also we are going to use the variable but right now to test only for maruti this counter will increase because you are increasing the counter down right here correct so each time when the loop is going on this counter will i am i hope you have the clarity on while loop in UI path also while loop work in same way as it works in any other programming language. So I will run this file now. Let's see the output. So you see the title is changed one two three four right it is breaking on five so it is taking details for four cars right now similar way we can create selector for each of this but before that let's do one thing let's try to run this on Tata this time okay let's see what it does will it give any output no it will give error i will explain you why yes why it could not find this activity because to go in properties you see the selector selector is having maruti but if you go in explorer and if you identify the selector for any of the car here you see in the aa name that we are using in our variable and we are using idx correct idx is equal to one for example we'll identify now the reason is that tata is available if i write maruti this is our actual selector if I go in the workflow. This is Maruti, correct? Star before star after. Star. It will not work because Maruti is not available. So, what we have to do is we have to create a variable that when we are coming from this page, we will take the brand name and we will pass it to that variable. For this example, what we can do is we can create a variable. Later, we will change this in the argument. So, what we will do is we'll, we'll create. Okay. So, it is in the debugging mode right now. We have to stop it. We'll create like. brand first name here we for now testing purpose we will take it manually so let, let's take it TA. okay and 
here go in properties our selector in place of this what we will do is place of maruti we will use okay we will select the select maruti whatever is the name right click use variable which variable we have to use brand first name so you will see this will come when we will integrate the flow all right so brand first name wildcard we are not touching we are still keeping wildcards okay save now let's try to run on tata Okay, so our first name we have changed is Tata. Run. Let's see. It is done. Let's check the output. Tata Punch, Tata Neon, Tata. Because everything in the selector was having Tata. Now, how about? any other brand so i will just go and test my solution on for example mahindra all right what i will do is i have to change this name also here because in selectors if i will test or i will identify or i will inspect the element you will see in the aa name it is mahindra the same name we have to use in our element also Rest everything should remain same. Properties, strip selector, counter will be same, brand name will be same. Okay, but where we are passing the brand name? Here as a default value. You can pass in a assign activity also. Save. Page is already up. Now let's test our flow. Of this so execution is started and ended so you see for Mahindra also it is extracting perfectly fine you can read these values from first second third fourth see the output rocks XUV, XO, Scorpio, and 700. That's which means our solution is working fine irrespective of which model, which brand it is. Right. And if you want to run it for 200, then you just have to change the count in while loop. Right. In this, change it to 10, it will extract till 10 cars. But I wanted to keep it limited to 5 for now. We will extract all our required values. So I wanted to extract this, then mileage, and then engine power. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to extract the title, and then what is the mileage? After that, uh, I wanted to see the engine power, horsepower, take the price and customer rating. So these five elements I want to take. So let's work for that. Now this is the right approach. If you will first stabilize the selector for one item and then do small changes for others, it will work fine. But if you will select everything and then change the selector you have to do the variable change in all of your elements so first do the required variable changes in one element one item and then copy paste the activity so all the selectors will be copy pasted so this is how you develop faster and now keep changing a small part so this is title and this is i will take uh, name as mileage 
properties first change it from here mileage right remove this variable do control k car mileage all right but now we have to change the selector so how to go with it stick selector our counter will remain same so let's check what will come inside this selector so you see now here if i keep a a name then which part can be fixed part always always fixed part will be kmpl right which will be in all the elements and this part will be changing so what i can do is i can just try keeping this away just try this and then what we can try is that uh, name will still come name is not coming here if name is not coming what we can do is we can take idx is equals to 1 let's try to test so sometimes you have to ignore idx because whenever the place of element can go up and down that time you change it right now if you highlight it is going on the right place because it is considering kmpl or searching the right element now let's try to change it to 2 go to highlight so it is going on the second car basically let's come right it is changing the second car fine so i think it this is looking good selector for us we will go and if we have we never forget to check the window selector yeah so window selector is also working fine the car after car also wild card and everything which is there in the selector identifying the screen plus doesn't look like it will be changing right now we will go to strip selector and we change it we don't need this name we don't need the s3 tag also as per our selector in the aa name what we need only this kmpl so star K KMPL plus counter it should work because if you look at our selector structure KMPL plus IDX2 right so it should will not be giving the result here so don't worry because you are using variable you are not using any fixed value let me just try to show you I will change this variable with 1 validate finding the value going here uh, i will do control z okay, so this part will change when we are running the solution done close this now next thing is after mileage so this we are first one second one is mileage title we just have to change the name as we have copy pasted so name is looking same everywhere after that we will use e and engine power right then we will change this variable delete control k new variable e and the engine car engine power right variable is created let's test let's identify the element using explorer you can hit the element directly also but you will not be able to inspect it 
So here also we see same like it is following a pattern of BHP. So I think we just have to change our KHMP to BHP. It should work fine. The reason is if you see the pattern is same and it is same everywhere. If we want this value, we just have to change the KMPH to BHP. So it will always come to BHP, right? Let's check it. Just give it a star and here we don't need all this idx is equals to 1 validate find I'll highlight it is going to the right place and now we will try for second one change this to to validate highlight in the second one so we just have to take the same approach in this selector also engine power go to properties strip selector h3 we don't need because it is not part of our element in this place we need one wild card And we need BHP. Alright. And then we need the variable of counter. Uh, so I whenever I am coming on this window, I understand that this is the explorer. We use this just to explain, just to inspect the selector for elements, but this is our other parts so if we have to change change here bhp so bhp come and counter remains same because it will be changing for each of the car it will not be verifying now because the variable is there it is not a fixed value just click ok and we are good you want to change these uh, screenshots what you can do is don't remove the selector but just remove the screenshots so that you are not getting confused by it once you remove a screenshot if you want to take you don't need the screenshot it's just to show selector is the main thing that will identify the element on a screen in this case especially when you are using computer vision or <clears throat> those things that time it might be after engine power we need how much price it is for so now let's go change this it is confusing it is showing the title i can just Remove. What will happen if you will indicate again? I will tell you. You have set these selectors, right? Might be overridden. It will be overridden. That is why we have first done for one element and then copied. I will come here now. Change the variable. First of all, car price. All right. Now let's see which all part we have to change. So if you see in car price, this will never change. Lack. What we do is let's identify the element first. This part, what which part will change? Only this part will change. So just use star here. Keep RS and everything same. Let the span be there, idx equals to 1. Validate. Highlight. Going right place. Number 2. 
validate highlight this is going to the right place so now we just have to use this pattern go to the element and I hope you understood that why we are not taking entire selector because we don't want to override our window selector go to this edge we don't need same as previous other elements in this part brand name we will delete we need only this pattern it will work car price is here now final car rating I will remove I have already copied this five times remove this one change variable same pattern car weightings right let's check inspect the element come here select this So you can see here this side, what do you think which part will never change? This part will never change. We don't want this CSS selector long looking things. And we have to take this P also because we need some other identifier to make our selector strong and perfect. So you see the IDX is already taken. Not taken, you can write, you can look at the uh, pattern like the same variable is coming multiple times then idx will work just validate it so it is highlighting the rating right let's change it to 2 Is highlighting the rating of okay. So, why it is not going to 2? The reason is it is 4.6, here it is 4.7. So, this selector will not be identified. What we will do is we will not take this AA name, but we will take this inner text. In the inner text, which part is the fixed part? What do you see? The 5 is the fixed part. This part will change. We will use star here. Now let's validate. And this counter will change because we are using everything within the same loop, same do while loop. Right? So it is going on. I will highlight again. Going on through try changing to 3 validate element found now is going on the third item 1 2 3 ok 1 2 3 you can see here now let's try to check if it is going on 1 validate it highlight and this id this part and this part we will Used. Right, I will go here. Properties, and first I have not changed the name. Get ratings. Right. Go properties. Counter we will not touch. We will just change this part, right? Click. Okay. Car rating. So now, just to check everything all the same way, what we will do is 
I will write a line proper line. Car title and then I will use a plus sign car title plus sign car mileage plus sign car mileage is our variable so it will print the value here and then a label text car engine power we have a variable car engine power plus car price we have the variable for car price plus car ratings car ratings all right Let's try to run this solution only for this page now and we will see how it will work for each page. So main thing that we have to change now is only this uh, URL. Before I run I will release this highlight. If you want you can close the explorer for now. Only explorer. Our windows, our studio is still on save changes and run this part let's see Okay, let's match this value car mileage, car engine power, car price has come, car ratings also have come. What is in the first one? 1215, 150, 174, 12.99 and rating is 4.6. Okay, go to output. 1215, 150, 174, 12.99, 4.6 rating. Let's match this way. Okay. Hope you can match everything now one by one. right we are taking four you can change the number in the while loop and you can take to any number all right i hope you got a good lesson on how to work on ui path selector how to modify ui path selector to your requirement how to use variables in ui path selectors and how to change now let's go to the next step that we have to make it work for each